Well, Danny, what's your assessment of a 2-0 win at home? Yeah, just a, a great win, probably for me, our best win of the season. When you consider the amount that we've had against us this week, um, amount of player unavailability, whether it's been injury or illness, um, for us to take four points out of this week has been, been an incredible effort from the players. I'm, I'm really proud of them. We've been literally bare bones. Um, even today, I know we had one or two back. Michael Jacobs, if you look at him today, he looked like a ghost. He, um, he did well to, to come in and do a little bit of training yesterday. Um, we probably could have used him if we needed him, um, but it would have only been if we, we, we desperately needed him. And um, the rest of them, you know, they've backed games up. You know, we've got played three games. Sean Williams, the 35 year old in the centre midfield, three 90 minutes. Young Miguel, 19, playing, backing games up for the, for the first time. Um, yeah, I just thought it was a, a, a not brilliant performance, but a really important win. Yeah, and in these situations where you are, you know, not not um, you don't have a huge amount of depth, is that when you look for an extra ten percent from your players to to get you through it? Well, this is it. I, I, like I said, I didn't think technically, tactically, it was our best performance. I thought, you know, I didn't think we played with the rhythm or the fluency that we would like. Um, but what we did do is show it a huge amount of resilience, a huge amount of determination and a, and a, and a load of grit as well. And um, I think the supporters appreciated that at the end. Um, they gave it their all the players. We said to them beforehand, whatever you've got, if you've got 80%, then give me 80%. If you've got 90%, then I'll, I'll take 90%. And if it's that, that God-given day where you feel 100%, then I'll, I'll have all 100%. But whatever you've got, try to give the team. And I thought to a player, they, they, they did that. Marcus Harness is certainly playing his part at the moment, his 10th goal of the season today. You said that that was the target that you gave him, but did you expect him to, to hit that before Christmas? No, by Christmas the target was to get 10. Um, he's got to go and get another 10 now. Um, no, listen, he's done, he's done really well. I thought it was, a, it was actually a really good move. I thought we had some good moves on the counter first half um, and we carried some good threat. With, with George and Ronan and, and Marcus. Um, we probably should have taken a chance before it got to Marcus, but that, that, you know, it shows the energy and the fitness of the players that they're, that they're backing up the play. And when the ball did drop to him, you, you probably wouldn't want it to drop to anyone else at the moment than, Mar than Marcus Harness. And Connor Ogilvie, the other, the other goal scorer as well. How nice for him to get his first goal for the club. Yeah, good. Well, he can score goals. He scored goals last year for, for Gillingham. Um, and we've been working hard at our corners without much reward to this point. Um, I think that's our first headed goal in the league. Um, and, and yeah, no, I'm pleased that we were able to, to get the, 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 the delivery right and the timing of the run right. And then obviously, you know, Connor attacked the ball really well. And I, and I thought it, um, yeah, it, it was a really good performance for Connor, not just the goal. I thought the, the, the goal probably was the, was, the, was the cherry on the top of what was a really good performance. Yeah, and as well as mentioning the two goal scorers, we should probably mention Gavin Bazuna as well. That's one of the saves of the season yeah. from him in the second half. Yeah, yeah, he's good, isn't he? Um, for me, one of the best saves I've seen live. Um, I thought it was an outstanding save. What I liked even more is then next in the next couple of moments, two crosses come in and just his starting position and the way he tapped the crosses and took, took, took those crosses and just took the pressure off the defence and another clean sheet. And listen, we weren't at our free-flowing best today, but when you can't be, don't concede, because we know we're fine goals and you know, I think 10 clean sheets now in the, in the season um, and, and Gavin and, and, and the rest of the players deserve a lot of credit for that. Many thanks, Danny. Okay.